adding elastic to the bottom of the shelf bra. This will actually have cups on it. So I didn't measure this. You don't actually have to measure everything. Um, sometimes people need those measurements, so I wrote them down. But if you just want to make this easy, you don't have to measure it at all. So, okay, you're going to um, put it right here. This is on the wrong side. And we are just going to stitch it in the middle. And you're going to stretch it a little bit. So you're going to take it and just stretch it a little bit. I'd say about 50% stretch. So here, to about that, that's 50. Just a little stretch. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect. And then when you get to the end, you just backspace it real quick. Now, this gets snipped off. You don't need this. And then the sides are actually going to get drawn together. So we're just going to do a basting stitch on them. So go to a basting stitch and just sew the side seams real quick. Whoops. Apparently I didn't back stitch that. My bad. We'll go back to that over that in a minute and then you're going to basting stitch the other side and that will gather it so that when we have it in our um, swimsuit it's nice and gathered so if I didn't actually backstitch that part where did it go I'm gonna sew that again real quick again this won't be seen so don't worry if you mess up like this it doesn't have to be perfect I mean, seriously, it's sewing. It's not an exact science. Um, there's a lot of forgive in this. There. See? Ta -da. So, now we're going to put the cups on this. Okay, so for the cups, what you're going to do is you either hold this up to you or you put this on your dress form. And the elastic is um, actually facing out, so you're not going to feel that. So on the inside of your swimsuit, this side will be against your skin, not that. Um, so put this on you, just face it this way and put it on you. Or get your dress form and put it on your dress form this way. And then we're going to put the cups on. So I wanted you to see that I actually put the shelf bra on my dress form and pinned it so it's a little past the um, edges. What you're going to do is these are the bra cups and they go half moon shaped up. So we're actually going to put them on like this where we want them and we're going to pin them right now. Great now thanks to movie magic we have pinned it around. So these don't, I mean, they don't mark up perfectly, but it doesn't really matter. Okay, no one's going to see it. We just kind of want it so that it's not too close to the top because this is going to get sewn down. We don't want it too close to this or this. And so that keeps it away from all those edges. Um, I could either like tweak this one, like just turn it a little bit or something, but I can get that going when I'm on the sewing machine. So now we're going to sew. We're going to sew around each one like this. And then after that, on the inside, we're actually going to cut out the extra. Um, you might think, oh, I don't need to cut it out, but trust me, it will fit 100% better if you cut it out, and you're actually supposed to. So now we're going to stitch this. Okay, so now that we're back here, we are going to stitch around each of our bra cups. I like to do the bottom uh, flat stitch first, the straight stitch, just to anchor it so it doesn't move. You don't stitch that far from the edge, so think of it kind of like top stitching. It makes you have a nice, good, um, tight stitch. Not too loose, not too tight.
If you pin parallel, you can actually stitch right over your pins and it won't break. Sorry, perpendicular, not parallel. <laughs> oh. So we're stitching about an eighth, an eighth of an inch away. I'm going to go right back over the straight stitch that I did on the bottom. And then I don't have to do back stitch, that will actually stay. So obviously we're gonna go do the other one, but I wanna show you real quick. So after you've sewn that, this side will be sandwiched between you and the bathing suit, so you won't feel this. We're going to come and cut this out. So just grab a bit in the middle and just cut it right in the middle. Now we're going to go around and cut not too close, but not too far. So about a quarter to an eighth of an inch away from the stitch line. I actually had a tester not do this and it doesn't fit as well. And, she, and then she cut it later and she's like, oh my gosh, it fits so much better. I'm like, yep, <laughs> that's why we do it. So if you have lace elastic, what they do in swimsuits is they actually take a little strip of lace elastic and they sew it around this cut edge so you don't feel that. If you're just making this for yourself, that's an extra step you don't have to do. If you're like making these to sell though, you should buy that. You should buy a little bit of a lace elastic and then just stitch it around that raw edge right there. But if this is for you, nobody will see it, so don't worry about it. I need to get these scissors sharpened because the kids have been using them again. So yeah, this, this will be covered by the lace elastic. Otherwise, this side will go against you. That side will go in the swimsuit so you won't feel that at all. And it will actually create a nicer silhouette. Um, but that's how it goes. So no, now we're going to do the other side. And you do the exact same step. So you'll stitch around this and then take the pins out and then you'll turn it over and you'll cut those out too. Let's do this. Okay, so now that we've finished the shelf bra with cups, we're going to put this inside that and sew these together. 